Hey there, gang. Today we're going to take care of uh, a little area, but within this little area we have a lot going on. We have a dent, a uh, paintless dent guy is going to take care of that. We have transfer, we have scuffs, we have scratches, we have a gouge going down through the clear into the primer. Today we're going to take care of the transfer, the scuffs, and scratches. We're going to have the dent taken care of. And then finally, I will fill in the gash. Let's get it done. As you can see here, the area is not very large, but what's going on within the area is a gouging, a dent, marring, scratching, some transfer. So right now we're gonna take care of the transfer, the scratching, and the marring. And that's gonna start with wet sanding with a 1000 grit Trizac disc. Now my kid had a good question and he's in the process of learning scratch removal and transfer removal. He wanted to know why we didn't break out the citral or the mineral spirits, uh, etc., to take care of the transfer first. Well, we're gonna skip um, we're going to skip a step, speed up the process. Uh, that's how you stay profitable. We're going to use the 1000 grit to quickly buzz through that transfer. It's going to buzz through the scratching and the marring and get us ready for the next step. Okay, so what I did here was one real quick pass over the whole area. I do this every time. That's to test a few things, how the clear coat is reacting, is if it's soft, if it's uh, a harder clear coat, how quickly the scratches uh, may be able to be removed using the 1000 grit. And I see here there's actually only one or two little spots left that have to be gone over. So this is gonna be quite a quick process here. This is soft clear coat. Down the road a little bit, we'll get a little bit more advanced and I'll introduce the Positector 6000 FN1. That's my thickness meter that measures thickness, clear coat, base coat, and primer all together from the surface, no matter if it's metal, rubber, or plastic, to the top of the clear coat. And factory clear coat usually comes one and a half to two mils thick. So you can then determine how far down you want to go to fix a scratch. We'll take care of that down the road a little bit. Okay, moving on, the 1000 grit did its job. It removed the transfer, the scratches, the mars. So we're gonna remove the 1000 grit disc. We have a 3000 grit Trizac disc standing by. We're gonna apply that. Now we're gonna work on that area and we're gonna make the area a little bit bigger on either side, starting the blending in process removing the scratches from the 1000 grit disc, and then we can move on to the next step. You can take your time. You can I'm already not satisfied with how wide I made the sanding area with the 3000 grit disc. So I'm gonna rinse down the residue we're gonna come back with a 3000, make the area a little bit wider. It's gonna help make the blending in process look a little bit better. Okay, I believe that's gonna do it. Let me rinse off the residue once more. This time we're gonna dry it completely and take a look at it while it's dry. Satisfied with that, it's ready to move on to the next step. I just want to bring you in and kind of give you an idea what it looks like, what to expect at this stage of the game. We still have that ugly, uh, deep gash there to take care of, uh, but that's down the road a little bit. The next step is resurrection, a cutting pad, and we have the little Grios Garage entry level polisher here. That's going to be just fine for what we have to take care of with the heavy cut. All we're doing with that is removing the marks from the 3000 grit paper or disc or whatever you may have. It's not going to have much of a problem doing that. We're just going to do a nice crisscross pattern, nice exaggerated arm movements, just a little bit of pressure. As you can see, I only have two fingers on top of the unit itself applying the pressure. 
and then we'll be able to jump to a nice fine polish and really dial that surface in. Speaking of polishers, I think I've pretty much made the point about being able to get the job done with entry level, uh, more economical tools. And if you want, we can move on. I've showed you the Grios Garage entry levels and the Torque entry level long throw polishers. Uh, we can move on to some Grios Garage Boss polishers. What else do we have here? We have the Rupees polishers. We have a lot of flex polishers here. If you guys are interested, let me know. We'll move on to some of them. Okay, so here we're removing the residue from the heavy cut cream. We're gonna come in, take a good close look, make sure we can move on. And before we do though, we're gonna do some residue control. Yes. We're working on black paint. Residue control is just as important here as any other job, any other color. We're gonna bring in the Angel Wax Redemption here for the last final step. This is an ultra fine polish or compound. This is gonna get out the little scratches or mars that we put in there with the heavy cut this is going to really bring out the reflectiveness the gloss and really dial in this finish and then we can hand it off to the paintless dent guy and with that i just want to say for any of you really good paintless dent guys out there cheers my hat's off to you you guys are the true artists you guys do a really good job very impressive All right, so we're gonna to begin to wrap it up here. We're just removing a little bit of residue left over. And all we have left besides this gorgeous reflective mirror-like surface are a couple little tiny dents and that gouge. I'll show you how to take care of the gouge down the road uh, to fill it in, level off, and then top off with a little bit of touch-up. Okay, we are well on our way. All we have to do is wait for the paintless dent guy to do his thing. I'm going to come in after that, follow up, and fill in and smooth out the gash. I'm going to take care of that in future videos. I have a couple more um, different scratches, different types of scratching and marring um, that I'd like to show you how to get rid of, how to take care of. Then we're going to jump to scratch repair, nick repair, gouge repair, and things like that. So if you have any questions at all, don't hesitate. Brian from Apex Detail. Catch you in the next video.